Hey everybody, welcome back to Baking with Rosal Sourdough. This is Mike. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make my sourdough bagel recipe. I'm going to teach you both how to use a wood-fired pizza oven and also a home conventional oven as well. So let's get started. You're going to start with 500 grams of warm water. To that I'm going to add 20 grams of salt. I'm going to swirl the water around just to dissolve the salt before adding 80 grams of my culture that I fed 8 to 12 hours ago until it's doubled in volume. I'm going to use my spatula to break that up a little bit just until the water becomes milky in color. To that, I'm going to add 800 grams of bread flour, and I'm going to use my spatula to incorporate the bread flour into the mixture. If it gets too difficult to use your spatula, that's fine. You can use your hands to incorporate all the flour. You can use a little bit of a gentle knead here to incorporate all the ingredients. By no means are we trying to create a smooth ball at this point. All we're doing is making sure that all of the flour is incorporated, and you know it's ready when it looks something like this. At this point, I'm going to clean up my mess a little bit, and come back and cover my dough for one hour. All right, now that it's been an hour, I'm gonna come back and with lightly wet hands, I'm gonna give this dough its first shape, which is gonna be using a combination of a stretch and fold and a tuck and rotate method. For the stretch and fold, I'm simply gonna pinch an edge of the dough, pull gently, stretching the dough and folding it over the top back onto itself. Then I rotate and make sure I do this all the way around the dough before lifting the dough ball up out of the bowl and flipping it over so that my seam side is down and my smooth side is up. I'm gonna use a tuck and rotate method to tuck the edges of the dough up into the center of the ball and rotate and press the seam edge together on the bottom to create a smooth dough ball. At this point, it doesn't have to be completely smooth. All I'm doing is creating a seam side and smooth side to my dough, putting it back down in the bowl with the seam side down and the smooth side up. I'm gonna cover it with a wet towel or a lid and set a timer for one hour. Now that it's been an hour, I'm gonna come back and with lightly wet hands, I'm gonna lift the dough ball up out of the bowl and give it another shaping using the tuck and rotate method. I'll flip the dough over to show you what I'm talking about here. All I'm trying to do is take the edges of the dough, fold them over the bottom, and press them up into the center of the dough ball, and then give the dough ball a little rotation and do the same thing with the next edge. It's a little bit easier to do when the smooth side is up and the seam side is down. Once I have my smooth bowl, I'm going to place it back down in my bowl, and cover it, and set a timer for one more hour. So now that it's been an hour, I'm going to give this dough its last shaping using the exact same method as before, gently lifting the dough ball out of the bowl, using the tuck and rotate method to form a smooth dough ball, put it back down in the bowl, cover it and let it rest for one more hour before putting it in the fridge for an overnight rest. All right, now it's the morning and here's what my dough ball looks like. I'm gonna gently lift it up out of the bowl and turn it so it's smooth side down and seam side up. I'm gonna use my dough knife to break it into 12 equal portions and shape those portions into 12 equal dough balls. Move those dough balls to the side, and I'm gonna show you how to shape your bagels. Lightly dust your work surface and place one of your dough balls onto it. Lightly dust the top surface of the dough ball as well. Using your finger, gently press straight down into the dough ball all the way down to your work surface and move your finger around a little bit to create a hole. Then place both of your thumbs inside the hole and gently stretch the dough ball into your bagel shape. Repeat this with the rest of your dough balls. Cover your bagels with a wet towel and allow to rest for one hour. Just before that hour's up, get a large pot of water boiling on your stove. To that, gently sprinkle two tablespoons of baked baking soda into your water. You may need to stir to make sure that you've incorporated all the baked baking soda down into the water. Directions for making the baked baking soda can be found in my ebook, Baking with Rosa Sourdough, which is available from my website, rosasourdough.com. The reason I like to use baked baking soda is because it is a little bit more basic than standard baking soda, but not as basic and dangerous as keeping lye around, which would what normally be called for in a bagel recipe. The basic cooking solution is what's going to help give the bagel its classic texture, and it's important to use a basic solution and not just boil these in regular tap water. I'm going to add the bagels one at a time, spaced about 15 seconds apart, and boil them for a minute before turning and boiling on the opposite side for one more minute. I find that doing this in batches of three works best for me, but feel free to change this for as large of a pot as you have. You wanna just make sure that your pot isn't overcrowded with bagels and that they can freely float on the top surface without running into each other too much or being trapped underneath one another. When my bagels come out of the boiling water, I put them onto a cooling rack and create an egg wash to brush them with. Egg wash is really simple to make. It's just simply a whisked egg. You can add a little bit of water if you need to stretch it. I find that a single egg covers 12 bagels, no problem. So with my daughter's help, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to egg wash all of these bagels. It's one of her favorite things to do. It's a great kid-friendly recipe. The egg wash and the topping is one of my daughter's favorite ways to help in the kitchen. So we're gonna go through and top our bagels now. I like to use this everything seasoning and the recipe for that is also included in my recipe ebook. I'm gonna move these bagels now into a preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, where I'm gonna bake them for 15 minutes, turning once about eight minutes in. I'm baking these in my home oven on a standard pizza stone. 
pizza stone is going to help give the bottom of the bagel a really nice texture. Alternatively, if you own a pizza oven like an Uni Pro, simply get your Uni Pro really hot using wood, then add charcoal to try to maintain a temperature between 5 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Bagels cook a lot quicker in this hotter temperature and are done in about 8 minutes, but I make sure that I check on them every 2 minutes or so to make sure that they're not burning. And here's the final product. Thank you for coming by, I really appreciate it. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like any more of my tips and tricks, please follow me on Instagram at Rose Hill Sourdough. And all my recipes are available in my ebook, Baking with Rose Hill Sourdough, available at rosehillsourdough.com. Hope to see you again soon.